Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with green eggs and ham. Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. Um, I bet you're wondering why the cabbage. So anyways, I will show you what we're going to do with the cabbage. It's very simple, very unique, and very delicious. Here's what you'll need. Two eggs, ham, and of course the red questionable cabbage. Let's get started. Okay, and here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to take our cabbage and we move this to the side. And we're going to peel off some of the outside layer of the cabbage because I don't like my cabbage that way. And we're just going to cut it in the middle. We don't need very much, so don't worry about how you cut it. We're just going to take it, slice it up a little bit. That's probably, you know, you can use it for something else. But anyways, we're going to take this, wash it off, and I'll show you the next Okay, step. now I'm going to place this in the microwave, and I put some water in the bowl, and we're going to place it in the microwave for a few minutes, maybe about two minutes. Okay, now I've taken my cabbage out of the microwave, and I let it cool down for a while. If you want to put this on the stove, the cabbage on the stove, and boil it for a few seconds, go right ahead. But anyways, I let it cool down because we don't want the... The mixtures to start cooking the eggs so now what I'm going to do is just take the egg whites and I'm going to try to get as much as possible loose out of it and I have another one And try to get as much as you can out of it. Don't worry about it, the yolk, because we're going to mix this in together with a little salt. And if you like a little pepper, that is fine. Just a little salt, not much. Just a few nidgens of pepper. Sprinkles, I should say. But that is a preference. That, you know, you don't have to add any salt and pepper, but, or you don't have to add pepper, because I think everybody likes the, um, <laughs> the eggs with a little salt to it. So now what we're going to do is take two teaspoons or if you feel like you need more for a darker color and I think I'll do three. And we're just going to mix this in together. Just going to put that aside. I'm going to probably do another one so hmm. I like mine a little dark in color so it is changing but you'll see once it, oops, you'll see once it hits the pan. So I'm just going to do probably, hmm, three more. How about that? So that's a total of five to two eggs. Oh yeah. Looking great, Dr. Seuss. So, anyways, I don't think you can see that pretty good because I have a bad lighting system, but I'm working on all of this stuff. So anyways, we're going to take these and fry them up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have a little bit of oil in the pan, and we're just going to put our egg mixture right in the pan like that, swirl it around, and let it cook, and the end result is great. You may not be able to see it now, but once I plate it, you can see the really nice green texture for our green eggs and ham. You see that coming along really nicely? So I'm just going to let this cook, and I want to shape it up for my own purposes. didn't do too great did I <laughs> so anyways let's get this cooking and I will be back and do the ham with the ham we're just gonna fry it up and that's it okay as you see I'm just taking the ham and I'm just frying it up a little bit of brown in it pretty much and that's about it so when I return we will plate this Okay, guys, and here it is, our green eggs and ham, our happy birthday shout out to Dr. Seuss. So, as always, I hope you try this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.